What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and today I'm back bringing you another episode of Advanced Smash Quick Tips. And today, we're gonna be focusing once again on the frame data of Roy and Krom, trying to determine who has better special moves. And this is finally the last video of this little mini-series. Now before we jump in, it's important to note that Roy and Krom's special moves are basically never safe on shield, so I'm not actually gonna be focusing on that aspect of frame data. Instead, I'm gonna be focusing on the kill percentages and utility, as well as talking about the differences when they do occur. Now, the first move that we're gonna be talking about is the often misnamed Double Edge Dance, which is clearly pretty similar to Martha and Lucina's Dancing Blade. However, there are some distinct differences, especially for Roy. This move comes out on frame nine, and it's got three different variants. The up variant is mostly good for setting up juggles because it puts the opponent right up and in front of you. The down variant is very, very good for doing shield pressure as well as doing a lot of damage. Roy's sweet spot on this move does 27 damage, Krom's does 26. So they're actually pretty similar even though Roy's sour spot is obviously not as good. But the real differences in this move come from the side variant. Krom's is decent to kill at around 110%, but it has some trouble comboing into itself. Whereas Roy's will kill as early as 75%, which is ridiculous. And also, despite what the tooltip might have you think, the using the up special right before the finishing side doesn't actually make it more powerful, but does make it more likely to combo, which makes this move even more potent in general. It's also worth noting that both side special and also neutral special can be used to a great effect with wave bounces and B reverses. And if you're unaware of what those are, a B reverse, very simply, is that while in the air, if you input uh, a special attack and then immediately follow it with the opposite direction you're facing you'll turn around which can also maintain your momentum and a wave bounce is the exact same thing but instead you do a reversed special attack followed by a reverse on that again next up we're gonna be talking about Roy and Krom's up special which is obviously the single biggest difference between these two characters both moves have their uses and I'm gonna be highlighting the differences here Krom's move is called Soaring Slash. This move is frame 10 with super armor from frame 10 through 30 and is one of Krom's biggest finishing moves for his combo set because this move does a whopping 25% damage, will insta-kill any opponent hit by it off stage, and is generally pretty easy to combo into because it is frame 10. As a result, this means that Krom's combo game is generally a little bit stronger than Roy's because of how much damage he can rack on and how easy it is for him to do it. However, he's insanely easy to gimp as a result. This move is super predictable and any character with a counter can kill Krom from around 30% assuming that he lost his jump by simply countering the move, which is easy to react to. Now you have Roy's Blazer, which is frame 9, one frame sooner, and does a more modest 20%. However, it can kill earlier from around 120% on the ground. This move is pretty interesting because of how versatile it is as a recovery move. It has three main angles. It can go straight up, it can go diagonally, and it can go mostly forward. And all these moves have their uses as well as it can be reversed in all of those directions. But practically speaking, it's basically impossible to reverse any direction that isn't the most horizontal version of this move. This move also has super armor starting on frame four, which is one of the reasons that this move is so good for Roy. What that effectively means is that it's actually his fastest response on grounded moves in order to stop combos or attacks from other characters because he can tank a hit starting at frame four and respond with the very high priority of Blazer, obviously putting on 20 damage. As a result, I actually think that Blazer is a much better move than Soaring Slash. And generally speaking, you're gonna get more utility out of it. Roy is gonna be more versatile and durable because of it. And everybody loves a Chromicide, but if you're talking about consistency in a character, you're gonna wanna pick Roy. But that's actually where the differences between these characters end in their special moves. Roy's Flare Blade and Krom's Rock Smash Blade are identical in every single way. But they do have some fun utility I wanna talk about anyway. They both can be used, like I said, with wave bounces and reverses to fun effect for aerials. They have an insta-kill at full charge that does 60 damage, breaks shields, and whatever else you could ever want. And 
It also has an extended hitbox for both of them that will do 43% damage, and will also likely kill your enemy, just not from zero. It can also be turned around to amusing effect, and anybody who doesn't respect this move is likely to be killed by this move, because it's actually pretty hard to counter. And even if you do manage to work your way through, it has a pretty low end lag, so chances are you're not going to really get punished much for using it. Additionally, their counters are also identical, so really, there's no differences left to talk about with these characters at all. Their moves are exactly the same, their counters do the same base damage, the same strong damage, it's exactly the same in every single way. There are no differences. None. When war is the fire, fire sword, death sword, everybody knows it's got the fire. Oh, soul the fire. And thus, the Roy and Krom frame data comparison comes to an end. Now you've seen the differences in all of their moves, and my perspectives on which moves individually are better. And hopefully you can use this and apply it to your playstyle, and figure out which character works best for you. If you like this video, as always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. And if you didn't, I would appreciate it if you could leave me some feedback. Also, if you like the music in this video, Links to free downloads, streaming, and where I post all this stuff is in the description below. I hope you check it out. But until then, I'll see you next time.